Hello everyone, welcome back to Plum Figgy. This is Tammy. Alright, so I'm gonna keep working on the second, actually I'm decorating the entire second signature of this onion skin like jump journal today. So gonna have, I went ahead and did this without talking through it um, so that I could kind of fast forward through it because really it's going to be a lot the same of what we've already done. Uh, so yeah, so just getting my new glue sheet ready to go. Um, so yep, just going to kind of keep pasting down sort of randomly bits and pieces of the papers that I pulled out uh, to use. Uh, this one I had intended to paste as one entire big piece, but <laughs> as I was gluing it, it totally came apart. So instead it became three. Um, so yep, this is uh, just one of those paper doilies. I love the color of it. Uh, and then um, I had this um, gold foil heart that we had done before um, because I wanted to test to make sure it still would work and so I knew I didn't want to let that go to waste so I'm gonna incorporate that into this little collage here. I gotta be honest um, I've had the best time decorating this journal. Um, it's different from what I normally do especially because I'm using these stickers here. Um, you know I had bought these stickers from AliExpress several years ago and to be honest I haven't really used them because I don't know, they just kind of, they're outside my norm, I guess, so um, I just, you know, a little bit intimidated, I suppose, to figure out what to do with them, <laughs> but um, here I'm just um, trying to uh, do groups of three. Uh, there was, I think it's Chinese writing, I'm not sure, but brush, in, in a brush writing. Um, no idea what it says and then this that I'm pasting down now is just a little grouping of um, grass or dried flowers or something uh, and then I love these little swatch stickers they're just so much fun uh, so put that down as part of the collage and now um, I just found that dotted line uh, stamp and just gonna stamp that in some gold uh, ink and I knew I didn't want the same exact uh, length of that stamp, so I'm just putting a piece of paper down to kind of create a mask. Okay, so just putting my stuff away from that little collage, and we'll move on to the next one now. I'm making sure to turn two pages every time, um, if I can. Um, because I do want to make sure and keep enough of the paper free so that, you know, the purpose of this is to be able to see your writing through e through the pages and stuff. So I don't want to overly decorate, basically, is what I'm trying to say here. So, um, again, just kind of putting down random pieces of thin or see-through kinds of papers. Um, the tan-colored thin paper that you see me putting just before this one is um, actually old um, antique uh, sewing pattern paper so that's the kind that it didn't have any writing on it but it's fantastic for this kind of thing um, and then here you see I just I had pulled a few pages a few pages from a really old antique dictionary and it's the one one of those that has great pictures in there so thought I'd go ahead and pull that out and then this one's just gonna be a super random little collage um, I thought well I haven't done any stamps in a while so let me go ahead and pull out a few stamps and we'll kind of just do something kind of random <laughs> and so just kind of playing around with some stamps here and um, trying to decide what I like or what I may not want to do um, color wise and actually also the the scene that's in the stamp is kind of helping me decide what I like too. So um, I think I ended up choosing those two in the end. The one on the top, I love that purple color. And then this one here, it's a little bit darker, but I think it really works well with that dictionary page. So, and then um, 
I knew I oh Sahara mist is the color of this <laughs> ink sorry it was a little fast um, but here I'm just stamping a little postmark from like a postcard kind of thing um, so. um, and then then the next thing is just it was a random bit of text and I stamped that in some copper ink there so showing you that and don't worry I will have a flip through at the very end of all of this with everything in it and we'll make sure to have everything in there for you to see well okay so I decided now was the time to stamp the Notre Dame Cathedral um, and now I'm just trying to look through the inks that I have I didn't want it to stand out terribly much so that's why I tried to pick this lighter color green and um, went ahead and stamped that there on that left side. But unfortunately, it was so light that you really couldn't even see anything. It just looked like green something. <laughs> I don't even know what. And so then I pulled out the copper again um, and planned to uh, stamp it again, but on the right side. But then I realized. No, the last couple of times I've stamped with that copper, it didn't come out super clear. So I then changed my mind and went with this onyx black ink instead. And so that really did a great job. Um, it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, honestly, I, I really love that page. And, you know, honestly, it's, it's kind of one of those things where you're just going to ride around it anyway. Um, or maybe don't write on that page or do something different maybe on that page who knows but anyway so now I'm uh, trying to figure out what to do uh, to kind of cover up that left side of the page um, because I didn't obviously want to <laughs> Notre Dame cathedrals um, you know stamped right next to each other so I'm just gonna go ahead and do another collage of just various thin papers and things of that nature that I've been doing already um, and so just gonna yep uh, yeah and I don't know if you notice that but you can see the reverse of that stamp on the other side of the page it's really cool actually um, so yeah so anyway yep just gonna do some collaging here uh, with just the light weight papers again and kind of cover up that little mistake that I made. <laughs> So at this point, I'm kind of feeling like, even though that's really pretty on the left side, it needs just a little something more, and I'm trying to decide what that might be, considering some of those scribbly stamps, then this doily, and I didn't like that. And then I pulled out this little envelope with the scalloped um, flap, and I really like that. So then now I'm just to figure out what to do for the inside of the envelope and so um, taking some of that craft paper and sizing it and um, I'll go ahead and uh, stamp one of those hearts from this really awesome stamp set uh, and I wanted to there that one there was very fast sorry and I wanted to do it in a lighter ink color and I remembered I have like this pastel pink so dug to the very bottom <laughs> to find that um, because I thought it would go well with the flowers that were on the page 
so go ahead, going ahead, oh, yeah, changing my TV there. <laughs> um, so I'm going to go ahead and stamp that, and actually you see there I pulled out three different colors um, because I wasn't sure, A, if this first one is going to really show up very well, um, and so went ahead and stamped that. Um, Pixie Dust is the color of that one, and I guess from further away it's... Uh, you can see it, but in person I just didn't feel like I could really see it very well. So uh, I went ahead and um, decided to stamp this next one in this other green color. And I'll show you what that color is in just a second. Oasis Green is that one. Uh, again, I liked that one okay, but I thought, nah, I think I maybe want to try something different. So I uh, went looking in my little stash of papers pulled out this piece of vellum and so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, size that to go over the craft paper um, this is versifying in imperial purple stamped on top of the vellum which in hindsight um, stamping on vellum is not my favorite and I always forget about that until after I've done it <laughs> because it just never dries <laughs> It just stays wet forever. Um, so anyway, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm just going to sew that vellum onto the craft colored paper and I'll stick that into the envelope later. Okay, so it's really hard to see it, but when I stamped that Notre Dame Cathedral, it did have some bleed through onto the next page. So I'm going and um, I'm just adding this piece of paper with, um, I like the design on it, and I'm just gonna add it onto that page to kind of hide some of that. Mostly it's just decoration. I suppose if you wanted to, um, you know, kind of hide some of that text or you could even put gesso over it and it would, um, you could then write on top of it if you wanted to. Um, but then here I'm just adding this piece of doily onto the back side. Uh, and actually that looks really cool uh, on the reverse page of that page because you can see the shadow or the silhouette of the doily um, behind the paper. Okay, so moving on to the next page that we're going to decorate. I wanted to do another pocket with this um, really thin gauzy, it's not gauze, I don't know, organza maybe, fabric. Um, and so doing the same thing that I did the last time, I'm going to sew it on in a zigzag stitch. So I guess we'll see the top down of that. Um, and you'll see it when I'm done. It's not bad, but it's not perfectly straight either. <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty hard to get it to be straight without using any kind of glue and I didn't really want to use glue because then you would see that on the other side um, and well I guess I could have used some glue stick uh, but in the end I just didn't do it and so it's it's handmade you know sometimes handmade's not always perfect so <laughs> this one's not not super perfect here but not terrible so, all right, so getting that uh, back into the signature where it was. Sorry if you hear crinkling of paper. My kitten is trying to make me play with him <laughs> with net loud and annoying things. <laughs> so, um, went ahead and pulled out another piece of this craft paper and I just uh, ripped around all the four edges to get it to sit in there well and then I knew I wanted to do another kind of skinnier one so um, decided that uh, I would do that with some of the um, lined paper here I'm just pulling out a couple other things that I might want to use for my collage um, but yeah I needed I wanted some of that graph paper so pulled out some of that and then this old book page I'm using just as the base uh, for my journaling tag. And so um, this one 
is going to be fairly simple. I'm just going to glue the graph paper onto this side um, and then rip it off so that there's a bit of a border. And then on the other side, um, I'm just uh, I'm going to use another piece of that. I don't know that I used graph paper. I think, yeah, it's the lined paper. So just using that on the other side. So this will be a great place for some more writing if, if, they want, if you'd like to use it for that. Um, and then I thought, well, I feel like I need to do some sort of collage somewhere. <laughs> so um, I decided that one that with the graph paper, I'll just leave pretty much blank and then doing a little bit of a collage there on the craft paper with some of that dictionary page um, and some of this piano roll paper. And then I, f I remembered I had these uh, quotes just kind of hanging out on the desk and hadn't been using them really. So picked out a quote that I liked. It says, not all classrooms have four walls. And then this little branch from that ephemera kit, um, I thought kind of worked well. And then that little flag that I'm prepping right now, it just says notes. Uh, so I put that on the other one. And then I had another little leaf uh, left over. So just went ahead and added that to the other one. And so there we go. So we've got ourselves two really cute little journaling spots that kind of match each other. I like how the leaves kind of correspond with each other pretty well. Um, and even though the fabric, it's got feathers on it and it's not leaves, the shape of it is kind of very similar. So, all right, so starting another little collage here, um, I just decided to go ahead and use that uh, postcard and um, adding some of this uh, graphing paper to the back um, just to add a little bit more interest and then I'll turn that into a tuck spot but um, I wanted to add just a little bit more to the front of it because even though it's decorated and it's got glitter and stuff there I thought it kind of just needed a little bit something more so um, adding this uh, little ephemera piece of some flowers I thought that looked really cute and then now I'm trying to figure out what to put into there. And so I just pulled this um, bit of uh, collaging paper and tucked that into the pocket there. Um, back to this stamp set. I just love this stamp set. And I just, literally this is the first time I've ever used it. And I've had it for several years. How sad is that? It's just crazy to me. So um, anyway, this is just a series of three little hearts that are just, they're messy. Um, back with the Niagara Mist ink and um, just doing that up in the corner there. I thought that looked kind of cool. Um, so how quickly you saw that, but uh, like I said, I'll make sure and do a a full flip through at the very end when you know, this is all said and done. Um, you know, when I'm listing it in the Etsy shop and whatnot. So, and then of course on the other side, I felt like I needed to do another collage. So again, just kind of pulling out some of these papers, kind of figuring out where I like having them lay on the page and just kind of start gluing them down. So this is a piece from uh, the 1890s, I don't remember the exact year, a magazine that I have, and um, it's talking, it's an ad for, uh, I think, some kind of writing or something that you would have used, maybe a typewriter, some kind of something along those lines. So uh, just 
decided to put that there on that page and then on the opposite page uh, just wanted a little bit of color so adding this kind of golden yellow doily was kind of wanting to use one of those stickers that were the doily but in the end I totally abandoned it because there's a bunch of little pieces that are supposed to come off of there or you know because there's a doily I couldn't get any of them to come out so <laughs> I was just like I'm done with you and I threw it away <laughs> so here um, I'm looking through all my uh, modern stickers because I knew that there was this one that had the desk and stuff. I couldn't remember if there was another one that showed like a close-up of like writing on a notepad. Uh, but I really love the modern and old um, kind of thought there. So definitely putting that sticker there. And then uh, I still had this little birdie that hadn't been yet so I'm gonna put him on the right side so I'm kind of just going back and forth <laughs> between these two pages but I'm gonna glue this sticker down now and um, yeah the colors and everything I really I really like how this one turned out to be honest it's very simple but uh, yeah I really like it so kind of felt like the bird needed something behind him so just adding a piece of that uh, white thin paper there and so I'll go ahead and glue that down and then glue the bird down and then I found that other little ephemera el element so I'll glue that down as well. Okay, so once again, starting with some of that thin uh, patterning pa pattern paper, uh, sewing pattern paper, and yeah, kind of just trying to use up some of my extra bits and pieces that I've got sitting on my desk there. I uh, really like having the, the white on top of the darker brownish colors, and yeah, this is really just like super random kind of whatever was sitting on my desk go ahead and use it um, just trying to play around with some different ideas here uh, I knew I wanted to use that uh, stamped image uh, that's on the bottom and then here I'm just adding a little bit more texture to the background uh, it's very very faint but um, adds a nice little bit of color too uh, and then looking here for one of these labels because I had pulled these out to use them and I still not I still hadn't used any of them yet, so um, I, f I really liked this one uh, here. Uh, I think I'll show it. Oh, I'm going to ink it up, and then I think I'll show it to you. It says number 139 in just handwriting. Um, so I thought it was just really cool. Uh, and I'm trying to remember what I did next. Oh, I was going through those stickers to find something that would kind of go... And I really like this one. It's a brown background with a white, like, bunch of, like, flowers or branches. And I got it on there a little bit crooked. So then here I'm using these circles to try and hide the fact that it's a little crooked. Um, so trying to do a grouping of three. And then I just really hated them. So <laughs> I pulled those back off before they completely dried and pulled this off very carefully. I got some of the paper with it and I'm just re-sticking it down where I wanted it but straighter this time and then that's it. That's all I'm going to do on this page here. So, Alright, so we're on the very last page and um, just about done uh, with this little journal, at least decorating it. And next will be... Uh, doing the cover but and then I'm gonna go back on my own and I think add a bit more stamping and things like that on just various papers but again I don't want to make it like I don't want to do it overboard uh, so anyway so uh, yeah that piece that I just pasted down is actually a 
a little piece of that sari silk that was left over so um, that's actually some really light fabric uh, using that last little doily I just love that little pop of color and we've got ourselves another little quote and I cannot remember right now off the top of my head what it says but um, I'll I think maybe pause the screen or something so that we can look at it at the very end but um, I wanted to add just a little bit something behind there and so just pulled out that other little piece of ephemera it's mostly hidden but I like it uh, and then um, oh yeah I had remembered that I pulled out these butterflies and I don't think I had used them yet and so I thought well let's go ahead and find one to put on this page so found this old monarch butterfly and it's just adorable the colors are perfect and yeah so pulling out my art glitter glue and doing that well, let's take a look it says joy is really the simplest form of gratitude and that's it for me today hope you enjoyed this i will see you all again in the next one very very soon bye